Howdy folks, it's Thursday. What's the number one thing that you should do in your shop? Even if you have a shop or you're gonna put a shop together, I don't care if you're woodworking, working on cars, whatever it is you're doing in there, the number one first, I guess we'll call it tool, that you should have in that shop. Okay, that's what we're gonna talk about today. And we got a contest, yes. Yeah, there, here's your answer. <laughs> you need good lighting in your shop. And there's a lot of lighting out there that's really changed the industry quite a bit. This is an LED light from Lowe's, for example. I think it was Lowe's. And they run around, a shop light is about $30 right now. And the whole, the point of the thing is, is it produces, uh, depending on which model you buy from like Lowe's or Home Depot or somebody, you're looking at anywhere from 2,500 to 4,000 lumen for your $30 investment. It has long life. So it's good to have, you know, some lighting in there. What I'm gonna show you today is rated at approximately, I believe it is 37,000 lumens. <laughs> yeah, almost, almost, uh, yeah, 10 times the strength of this thing here. <laughs> yeah, and it's gonna cost a little more, but it's also good for, you know, commercial. And there's, they offer it as a shop light. It's kind of pricey, but you know, when you get older and you need more light, well, you know, past the age of 30, this could be the answer. So we need to take a look at our shop lights. I've got as much light as I can put in here right now. And I'm actually thinking about adding some more because I have found over the years, you know, when you have really intense light in your shop, it sort of energizes you, but it also allows you to see what what you're doing and you make better cuts or you know if you're working to assemble something it's easier to put it together because you can see what you're doing <laughs> without holding a flashlight in your mouth and you know trying to figure it all out let's get this uh Sinton shop light out of the box and let's have a look at her Whew. if you have high ceilings uh this is the sort of thing you probably have to look into like i've got a barn i call it the barn out here and it's about 20 foot ceiling in there uh, i was thinking about probably something like this up in there. Just one fixture at 37,000 lumen. Should light the whole thing up pretty good. <laughs> and this is the fi fixture here. They're a little heavy. Uh, Sinton has been around for a number of years. They've sent us some different beautiful lights, but they involve a lot of uh, commercial and sort of industrial kind of lighting. So yeah, they are, they are no joke. You know, this is not something you'll find at Home Depot or Lowe's. <laughs> Yeah. And they're going to be a little pricey, but if you look at the lumen number, it's a way better deal to buy this than to buy, what, 10 of those other ones at $30 a piece? What would that run you? Over 300? Yeah, you know, so. So, and you do, you got to put those all up on the ceiling somewhere. So, uh, if you have a shop or you have a commercial shop or an area where, you know, a lot of work goes on and you need some lighting, uh, Sinton is the place to go and take a look at what they have. They have some powerful parking lot lights, outdoor lighting, and of course they have these, they call this a shop light at 37,000 lumen. I think I could probably operate on something with this guy. Now I'm gonna do uh, something fancy here. I'm gonna take the wiring out and I'm gonna just put a, uh, a regular plug on it today just so we can uh, test it, you know, so we can have a look at it. Because normally you would hardwire something like this back to the building. It also comes, of course, with the hangers and a chain kit, just like you would any shop light, you know, where you can suspend it or hang it off of a beam. Uh, not very good picture there, but uh, you, get the, you get the idea. Well, so, so the first thing we're going to have to do, obviously, is get a, a cable or plug, in this case, connected to this so we can plug it in and have a look at it. <laughs> it's going to be bright. <laughs> and in fact, I might even take the one of these out of here first, just so... We're not wrestling with that later, with the flat screwdriver. There we go. And uh, let's get this opened up, get the wires hooked up, and yeah. Sinton makes a lot of different lighting. Uh, so, alrighty. So we've got this and this. Oop. And let's see what we got here for wires. Okay. So the first thing is, this is a commercial lighting and it's, it's actually very cool, but this light is particularly, uh, has this type of connection on. These are like push-ins and they lock. So you need to get your cable, in this case I've already punched this hole out, and this will be my, uh, there we go, this will be the outside. So I can, I can push one of these in place to use it for cable support, but 
Uh, the cable has to be already in here and supported before we get into it. And actually this is a problem because this is braided cable and these are designed this particular type of connection is really designed more for a solid core wire. And that's fine. Just It just so happens we just don't have solid core wiring in this case today. So what I'm going to have to do is uh, something that you see me do a lot is uh, <clears throat> I will destroy the connectors that they sent it with. That's unfortunate, but it is a fact. Now, I'm going to have to get that cable connector squeezed up and I don't have my pliers with me. Figures. That'll work. There we go. So now, now we're nice and locked. Now, to connect to this, uh, unfortunately, like I said, uh, I don't know if this will work because it's um, it's unfortunate that I didn't see this coming. Uh, uh, we don't have solid core wire here. This is uh, what we call braided. And braided is very soft, very flexible, so it won't really go properly to a connector like this. So unfortunately, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have to cut this out of here and just do a regular old-fashioned connector. Uh, it's really nice that they had this, but in this case, it's not going to work. Okay, so we got the good old-fashioned electrical <laughs> stuff out, and we're going to just remove this connector and uh, also this connector. And fortunately, we're going to have to just do away with it because it will not properly. This just won't work with me. So, yep. So here we go. Now we're going to do a a good old-fashioned, you know, solid, solid hookup on this. Yeah, and they have nice braided wire on the inside of these. Now, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, okay, looking good. Yeah. And we've also got these two mystery wires here. So let's explain the uh, the purple and the pink wires. So we're all wired up, but you like probably noticed these. This is for emergency power. And if you're in like a commercial situation or a public situation, something like that, you're going to want to be wiring up for emergency power where these come on off of a battery and keep, have a, like a low state power to keep them running sort of thing. We're not, of course, with a shop light in our shop, we're not going to be doing that. So basically, we're going to close this bad boy up and ouch, get the wires back in and put that screw back in. And all we got to do now is set it up and hang it and plug it in and we should have we should have amazing, an amazing amount of light. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to figure out how to film this because the uh, camera will automatically cut back on f-stops and, and make it dark. It'll change the settings be automatically because the light is pouring right in. So it's going to be kind of hard to see it this way, but we'll, we'll, we'll work on it. First off, right now we got 4,000 lumen. Let's turn the Cinton machine in here and let's see how that looks. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a lot brighter. Oh man. <laughs> I should have had sunglasses for this setup. <laughs> oh wow. That might be a taller ladder. I'm getting up there. <laughs> oh boy. Just about the top of the ladder here. Now, uh, being a metal building, we'll be using uh, self tapping screws. Cool. And the first thing I'm going to do is just absolutely hang the chain at four foot. So in order to get that, we need we need to know what the uh, center is and go about two feet over off center, which you can see is like right there. And I can see where it is because of the rib of the uh, roof line. So off that rib, if I put it about four feet out, it'll hang nice. Uh, just a regular length and see if we can get get one of these self-tapping screws to tap. There we go. Now, I got it started. So now, normally wouldn't do it that way, but uh, <coughs> because of the conditions here, it's, it's actually pretty warm up here already, which is, well, Texas typical. There we go. And it doesn't have to be tight but it should be enough so that the chain can't get off that screw. And then the other part that's nice is these, uh, these clips that they've included. And I'm probably gonna want the lamp fairly up high because obviously the light's gonna spread really good. So I'm gonna come down off the screw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm thinking, yeah, eight, eight of these. So I've got my little clip there. I don't need the rest of this chain now, but I'm gonna leave it on until we officially get this thing in position and we know we've got the height that we need. All right, 
I'm doing this backward a little bit because of the uh, camera's bit angle and whatever. Whew. We're high. Take my word for it. Oh man. We are high. Now, they've got these really cool hooks you can put in. And in this case, I'm going to hook them from the outside and just pop them through. Uh, same with this side. Let the cable dangle for the moment. And get these on. Yeah. And just sort of squeeze it through the hole. Yeah. And, and there she be. And he said, let there be light. Okay, it's on. Mm -hmm. Power's on. Mm -hmm. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah. We can now see really, whoops, we can now see really well in the barn here. Oh, I, I can see it. anything in the barn here. I can, all my goodies, uh, you know, we got a lot of stuff that we store out here. Yeah, so, wow. Kind of like daylight in here now. <laughs> wow. That is so cool. That is an amazing light. But this is the sort of thing you need for workshops, especially high bay lighting, like this sort of idea where we're up above us. Oh uh, man, oh man, I'm, I can't believe that. I just tied into an extension cord off the house temporarily. So whether you're building a Bardonium or you have a metal garage or a big warehouse building, whatever, Sinton, that is a place to go look at some lighting. Links below, yes, in the description, absolutely. Thank you, Sinton, for sending that over to us. We got a contest today, so uh, let's go get some tickets and see who's got uh, what today, yeah. And this is what we're drawing for this week is the, yes, top test gas leak detector, and it will sniff out your gas. <laughs> yeah, even the wife's gas. <laughs> I've uh, run that run that gamut okay and there's going to be a couple of people on there probably going to ask about that uh, church podium I have I'm doing some work on it so yeah it's the stuff happens you know what I mean it's like okay we're in the coffee can thank you again whoever suggested that, that was a great idea we'll shake up those tickets and we'll see who's got this uh, got gas detector heading over there yep alrighty and we'll mix them up some more even Trying to give everybody as fair a possible chance at winning this thing. What do we got here? We got somebody here. Who we who we got? Do, 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 do. Oh wow! Talk about the north, east, northwest. Yeah, Douglas over in Kenwick, Washington. Doug, I'm gonna put this in the mail and you're gonna get it. <laughs> and if I hear about a fight between you and the wife at night, I know exactly what went down. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, Doug. Whoa, yes. Now. Let's get set up for next Thursday, shall we? Yeah. Okay, we're giving something away that you can't buy for love of money. Well, it's it's sold out. Last week we did a beautiful show on this uh, little counter bank set, and it's a really nice countersinking set for woodworking. You know, pre-drills the hole, plus puts the countersink in for the screw head, and you've got like quarter inch, three eighths, and half inch sizes in the little kit. And it's a very small little kit, but it's a really nice little kit. This is the only one. Yeah, there's none left for sale. So I'm, I'll provide you a link below where these were found at, but I can't say that you're gonna find one anymore because right now, from last I heard, they were sold out of them. Awesome item. Obviously a pretty good tool, and it was a great price, which uh, that usually does that too. Uh, anyways, how are we gonna get in on that? Well, to get in on the contest to win this, all you have to do is email. And you just email to ctrewards at gmx.com. Uh, just one entry per household. That's about the only thing. Uh, you can live wherever you want to live. And now, in the subject of that email, uh, we're going to use a simple word. We're just going to say uh, bit. B-I-T. Yeah, that's it. You know, simple enough, right? And uh, in the body of the letter, I need just your name and address, as if you were doing a postal return address, something like that. You know, that's all we want in there. And that way we can make up tickets for next Thursday and we'll pull tickets and see who's got himself a countersink bit set that you can't even buy for love of money on that market right now, apparently. So, but uh, I will provide that link anyways. All, there'll be links for anything that was shown, I guess, today on the show anyways. In the meantime, uh, be good, guys. And thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. And please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell for contest giveaways. 
and I'll see you guys Monday with a new tool. In the meantime, I'm out of here, and it's been a long day. Over and out. <laughs>